So this is the vector's question from January 2021. Right in terms of U and V, an expression for LM. Well, immediately I can see LM is this to this, right? To figure out this route, we need to go LP first. So I can deduce that LM, the vector LM, is really in this guy's L to P. Then I need to add on P to M. L to P I have, P to M can be calculated. P to M is, according to the question, half of P to Q. So P to Q, which can be calculated, it's really if I go down this and across this. Now this is missing an arrow here. So O to Q is V. So let's deduce PM by finding PQ. PQ is equal to PO plus OQ. You understand what I'm doing? I'm going to get this whole thing, PQ. And then I'll half it to get PM. And the reason I want to get PM is because I needed to get LM. So that's the that's the thinking behind this. Um, PO is really negative U minus 2U. And OQ is really V. So I have now the thing with vectors, the direction is very important. So this is this is really V minus 3U. This is going opposite. You see the arrows. So if I want to say PU, it's opposite. So I should put a negative there. 3U. Therefore, PM, which is half of PQ, is equal to 3U here. I did this question recently on YouTube. And therefore, LM is equal to LP. LP is U. And PM, PM, we just looked at that. So V minus 3U. Um... Right, in terms of U and V, an expression for LM. This is in terms of U and V, and it is an expression for LM. So I can stop here and get my two marks. If you want to put it in one complete fraction, it will look something like this. So what am I getting here? V minus U. You all got this? So I can recap it one more time. One more time. I'm trying to do from L to M. I don't know what P to M is. L to M can be found by saying LP plus PM. P to M, however, is half of PQ. PQ, right? And I can figure out PQ by going backwards here and then forward here. If I go backwards, I need to I need to account for this as negative signs. So I should say that these two here are negative, right? So that's negative 3U plus V. So I can re rewrite this as V minus 3U and divided by 2 that's pm and lm is u plus v minus 3u when i make this into one algebraic fraction this is what i get so why is in the chat if you understand that there may be some um this is this is algebraic fractions here there may be some of y'all who need to redo this topic to to be able to manipulate the algebra in this vectors question so let's do the next part of the question pr pr how are we going to work out PR? Well, PR is simple. There's a V here. The reason I know that that's a V is because O, where's R? Where did they mention R? O, R. Q is the midpoint of O, R. So if Q is the midpoint of O, R, it means that this is V and this is V. It splits it in two. And we just found out what PQ is. The whole point of this style of vectors question is to find the alternative route. So we're trying to find out PR. We could just say PQ plus qr pr can be written as pq plus qr and pq we just found that to be what was it v minus 3u so i have 2v minus 3u 2v minus 3u alissa well done now this next question is four marks and we are being asked to show that lm and r are collinear we're going to show that lm and r reside on the same line diagram is not a scale but we want to show that the, the way to do this is always the same thing every time you need to get two vectors on the line lm i will look at lm and then i will look at lr and you need to show that there exists a scalar factor relationship between the two of them or you can see one is a scalar multiple of the other or one is a scalar factor of the other it doesn't matter um whether you use multiple or factor just once they use scalar so let's see lm did we find that already though Yes, thank goodness. We found LM already. LM is V minus U on 2. Excellent. 
So LM is equal to V minus U and two. So all we need to do is find what LR is. LR is, I can think of LR as this plus this plus this. Nice. LR is in negative to U because I'm going backwards plus a V plus another V. Ooh, this one, this is actually working out pretty fast. So this is negative 2u plus 2v. I can rewrite this as 2v minus 2u. And immediately, immediately, we figured out that LR is 2v minus 2u. And LM is I, I, another way I can write this so you can see clearly what's happening is half of v minus u. And another way I can write this is 2 of v minus u. From this, we can clearly see you can clearly see that LM and LR are related to each other via a scalar factor. They is basically the same vector, just being expanded over a longer line. One is half of it and one is two of it. So I would write this. I would write LR is equal to 4LM. LR is equal to 4LM because half of this, and this is two of this, the relationship is four. So uh, they're related by the scalar factor of four. So LR is equal to four times LM. So prove that the collinear, you need to show that LR is equal to four LM. Therefore, the uh, vectors are parallel. Since one is a scalar factor of the next, or you can say related by a scalar factor of four. Um, or you can say LM is a scalar multiple of LR, however you wanna phrase it. This helps. And then in the next thing, they are on the same line, which means collinear, since they share a common point. This is the next thing you need to state to get the next piece of the mark. So if you have two things that are parallel to each other and one of them and one of the points common, it means that they must be on the same line because they share any same point and parallel. So if they share the same point, and they are parallel. That's how you prove collinearity for C segments. So you're good to go, 100%. I don't know why I'm taking my own work for. Is that being conceited? Every day we live at around 11 o'clock on Saturdays, maybe it's after 11, more like 12. But around the morning period, you can find me online. Till we meet again earlier.